Hey everybody, this is Mark with Apple Tech One Two Eight, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to implement a jump to top button on your website. So, like always, let's start off with an example of what we're going to be trying to accomplish in this video. So, this is our own software website. If we scroll down to a certain part in the page, you can see that right here, there's a button that pops up that is going to offer you to go to the top. And as you can see. When we get up higher, it disappears and then reappears. And then if we go ahead and click this, it takes you to the very top of the page. So that's what we're trying to accomplish in this video. So before we start, I must warn you, it is not easy to do this. There is a lot of steps and you're probably going to want to use multiple files, but without other way, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and create a new HTML document. You can use any application like always, but I prefer Dreamweaver. So let's go ahead and get to the button part of this where the main action is going to be taking place. So under body, we're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and insert a button. So now we're gonna be putting it in a little bit of referencing to JavaScript, which we'll be adding later. And we're just gonna go ahead and say on click and we'll call this top function. Next, we're gonna use an ID and we'll call it my button. And then for a title, this is what's going to show up if someone hovers over the button, giving them kind of a tooltip of what the action is going to perform. So we'll say title and we'll just say go to top. And that is it. Now we're gonna go ahead and name it for what the view viewer is going to see, we'll say top and close the button. And now you can see we have a button up in the corner right here that says top and when we hover, it says go to top. So that is the easy part for this. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and create an external JavaScript file and then link it in there. We'll make another tutorial later on about showing you how to link and create JavaScript files. But for the sake of this video and simplicity, we're gonna go ahead and code JavaScript right inside of the HTML file. So we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and say script and we'll close off the script while we're here. And now this is where we start entering in all of our information. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and say what happens when you click the button. So we will do another function. So now we are done with the script, but if we go ahead and reload the page, you can see that it will not work. The button is still visible. Now, this is where you wanna go ahead and add your own CSS file. And again, we're gonna show you how to do that in a future video, but for now, we're gonna be sticking it in the head tag with our style. And we will go ahead and put in everything there to actually make the button disappear and reappear and all of that sort of stuff. And we'll go ahead and add one more information to this about the background when you hover over it just to give it a little bit more style. And we're just going to say background color. And we will just put it to, sure, why not? A nice gray. That is it. You can see the button has now disappeared. Everything is completely gone. Let's go ahead and add just a little bit of information to the page to make it fill up a little bit more. 
And now when we go ahead and scroll down, you can see this button appears. It says go to top, the background changes. And we click it and it takes you to the very top. And there you have it. We now have a working go to top button. I know this was a ton of code, so if you want to go ahead and get all this for yourself, I'll drop, I'll drop a link to it down below. You can download the whole code file and everything you need. So you can just go ahead and copy it right in. Again, I do recommend using a cascading style sheet and an external JavaScript file. We'll show you how to do those in a future video. But for now, that's all you need to know. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with iAbletech120, and I'll see you in the next one.